While those freezing temperatures will be sticking around for several days, it's cold enough to be a health hazard. Yeah, we can only handle it for a couple minutes at a time. Denver 7's Katie LaSalle joins us this morning. Very important, and we see you're layered up, but very important for people to cover up in this mm -hmm. weather. Oh, absolutely. It can really be dangerous for our health. You know, the colder it gets, the faster you can get frostbite. Right now, it is zero degrees. I'm at Washington Park. I have more layers on than I'd like to share, but it feels like it's in the negatives with wind sustained from the north northeast around 10 to even 15 miles per hour at times. It's lightly snowing. Roads are snow packed, but the wind chill values when it gets up to negative 10 to negative 15, you know, it, it really can only take about 30 minutes for exposed skin to get frostbite. We spoke to a doctor, Dr. Eric Hill, about the injuries that they see. The frostbite injuries are typically in the fingers and toes, those kind of things. And they're typically in areas that are exposed to cold temperatures for prolonged periods of times, or if those clothing is wet. If it's wet and cold, much more risk for getting frostbite. So bundle up right now it is yeah feels like it's just about negative 10 and the National Weather Service says really you need to get to windshield values of minus 20 to see that frostbite occur but protect yourself. I have so many layers on it feels comical like the performers getting in and out of a clown car. It's shocking if that makes any sense but protect yourself today bundle up 